Portimao in Portugal, the first visit to this serpentine roller coaster tarmac circuit on the Algarve coast for the FIA World Endurance Championship. And qualifying, as ever, happening with two groups. First of all, all the GT cars, and secondly, all of the prototypes. Critical to set a fast lap early on, only a 10-minute session, but track limits were a major problem. Most cars lost time in track limits. Christian Reed going very quickly for Dempsey Proton, but in the end, the GTE and pole position went to Egidio Perfetti for Team Project One. Daniel Serra did not set a registered lap at all in the 51 Ferrari, will start as the last car of all, and the meet in a Porsche top three was the other Ferrari. But pole position in GTE Pro went to last weekend's Nürburgring 24-hour winner Kevin Escher setting a blinding pace to take the pro class pole. He will be the first GT car away. Brand new entry in hypercar from Glickenhaus. The car had proved quick in free practice. Toyota trying to jump into the queue amongst the LMP2 cars who had topped all three free practice sessions ahead of any of the hypercars. But when it came down to it, the hypercars found pace. LMP2 pole going to not the 38, but the 28 from Jota Sport, courtesy of a flying lap from Tom Blomqvist, as dozens of laps were deleted in qualifying. Top Pro-Am car, Racing Team Netherlands, Jop van Oetert, Hypercar, Brendan Hartley got within 19, 94 thousandths of a second. He was in second ahead of his number seven Toyota driving teammate, Mike Conway. But for the first time, it is an Alpine that is on the outright pole. It is the car driven by Mathieu Vazivier. It is also the top hypercar. Stay tuned.